Alright, so this is Nick again. I just wanted to come out and show you. Here's the choke uh, housing, I guess. These are the lines coming to and from. Now, when I opened this up the first time, tried to take the carburetor off, I, I tried to take these hoses off and it started leaking uh, coolant all over the place. So I hooked them back up and just removed them from these screws. When I put this back on after the rebuild, um, I guess the coil that's in there pushes this lever, which of course operates this arm right here. It wasn't actually um, connected the, the proper way in the inside of this on that that uh, coil. So of course, when in, when the coil was expanding, um, it wouldn't. Uh, push the choke plate closed. So um, this is just a test, I guess, to uh, confirm that that coil and lever are properly connected. Now I'm going to go around to the other side and check the fast idle screw, which is right there. And uh, it looks like it's in the right place. I measured this and put it in the right spot. So I'm hoping that uh, now that we got the choke issue uh, taken care of and that that's working properly, we'll be able to start it up with no problems now. So I will keep you posted. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all your help. And we'll see you soon.